Hello everybody, good evening and welcome to the Poetry of Painting on this slightly cooler Wednesday evening. We've been having some lovely hot weather down in the south of England here and I believe also up in Scotland where my guest evening, <laughs> sorry, let me just start that again, where my guest for this evening is actually residing at the moment. So let me bring Martin Goldie onto the screen and, and put my teeth in at the same time and try to get my words out straight. So hi, Martin, a big welcome to you. Hi, Fiona, thank you again for having me back on the show. It's, it's always a pleasure. Nice to be on. Thank you. And it's, Thank you. it's a real pleasure having you back on the show and a big welcome to everybody who's watching us and whether that's live or replay and thanks in advance for any comments and questions that you post join in it just it makes it more fun so if you can that'd be lovely oh chris is here saying hi fiona hi martin hi chris thanks very hi, much chris. for watching hi, yeah. Uh, so it's it's a little bit cooler up where you are as well, Martin, tonight, is yes, it? Yes, from the, the heights of the, the yeah. last few weeks, it's back yeah. to a wee, bit, a wee bit more like normal. Yes, yeah. But we've, it was, it had... was nice, but uh, it was a wee bit too hot sometimes. Mm. It's, it's, it's lovely when it's like that and you don't really have to do anything much. But yeah, when you've got to right. carry on and do all the normal stuff and... Uh, yeah, it's, it's nice yeah. when you're on holiday, let's put it that way. Yeah, that's um, right, that's right. But, uh, I think just probably because we're not really used to it so much and it's well, that's more right. of a shock. You know, if it was like that a lot more, a lot longer, then I think we'd get used to it more and just get on with it. But, uh, yeah, it was uh, quite warm. But anyway, I think we're going to have a, a bit of rain over the next couple of days to water the garden, so that'll be Yeah, good. well, that's always nice, always nice. Yeah, bring yeah. some colour. <laughs> Absolutely, it's getting a little bit sort of browny yellow on the lawn at the yeah. moment. Um, no, it'll come back. It'll come back. Indeed, yeah. indeed. Yeah. So, Martin, this week you've done me the honour of writing a poem about another of my paintings again, which is "Sunshine and Clouds," which is in the background here. Um, I'll put it on the screen, and. Maybe you could just tell us what appealed to you about this one, why you chose this one to write about, Martin. Well, it struck me, the, I just quite liked the, when I first saw it, the, the almost startness of it with just the, the sort of faded colours and the, the track going through. And uh, I also, I quite liked the idea that you could see the storm sort of passing in the distance on the horizon and uh, I was quite interested in that you see what you see in the painting but you're you're allowed a bit of imagination as to what's behind and yeah. uh, it gave me a wee bit of a uh, license for for story and narrative that I could put into uh, the sort of descriptive of the, the sort of rural scene that you, you, you look at yeah. So, sort of, uh, yeah, I felt that it was, uh, apart from enjoying the view, it sort of gave me thoughts for what was, you know, who was going into the scene and what was behind. So it was quite interesting. Uh, yeah. And your of, your poetry, you have you tell some wonderful stories in your poems, you know, whether they're about my paintings or about the the, the girl who went to fetch the doctor across the mountains and yeah you know you just you just tell these wonderful stories and um, in poetry absolutely beautiful so really looking forward to hearing this one see what you've come up thank with you here but um there were, there's my story for this one which isn't going to influence your poem obviously because just telling you this right now um it was one that i actually painted on site on plein air uh, and it was in norfolk and the story on this one, it started off quite nice. So I found a place to park, thought I like, really like this view, set up my easel and my sketch box and everything, started work, sun came out a bit, sun went in a bit, wind started, oh, the rain started, then it stopped and the sun came out and then it started sleeting and snowing 
And I think, oh, and I can't remember if we actually had hail as well, but we had no. almost every type of weather. Yeah. So I ended up having to get in the car and finish it off actually sitting in the car and you know, windscreen wipers every now and then so I could see. But uh, so there, there was a story from from that point of view about yeah. it. But I'm really interested to hear what your story is going to be. Uh, so Yeah, well, it's, that yeah. sounds like a Scottish summer's day. <laughs> yeah. You get all, all four seasons in one day quite often. Yes, but yes. Yeah, I, I, quite an adventure, but... Uh, you do see that sort of the drop of the, sh the rain from the from that cloud that's going across. Mm -hmm. Yes, Certainly. Yeah. yes. Luckily, it gone over at that point, but yeah, yeah. It, and it it was just a. I had to literally think right. This is how the sky is going to be because it just was changing the whole time and the light. Yeah. So uh, well, that's okay. I, that must be a, an issue for a painter that you've got to decide mm. on a on a moment, I suppose. Yes, yeah, just get those clouds in and yeah. where's that light? Okay, dash that light in quickly. <laughs> you know, you've, you've got to work fairly fast to yeah. catch that. And then and then it's changed and it's keeping yes, that mental I... picture of this yeah. is how it was and, and keep on working and it keeping that light in that place. And the, yeah, so uh, it, uh, it's a challenge, but it's, yeah. it's a good challenge. It, it's fun. So, you uh, know, there you go. So... Would you like to read us your poem? Yes, indeed, I will. And it's, uh, as in the painting, it's sunshine and clouds. <coughs> Gently struck the distant coral of thrush and fins that broke from light dappled wood, from broken glass and broken dreams, from loveless worlds, empty words, and her broken world's bleak pain she walks pretty in pink summer dress a new straw hat she loves to wear bruised sun seared arms raw head drowned in dark thoughts of his bland world above the rush of hidden stream splash snarl words spat from twisted face and spite and hate and fear, wounded, hissing mad in childlike hop and skip to the healing hush she missed, she went, for that while safe in her smiling glad world. Ahead dust ride wends through dancing grass, through sweet wet scent of wildflower splash to distant jade horizon beyond this other world she had forgotten above grass swish and trees sway she watched another soul's black rains fall from stor storm clouds scudding west fighting tide to distant ocean splash her pained hand stretched for grass, but hope, or love, or both, or brief escape from mere existence. And in that peace, swallows sing on broom's sweet breeze, far from stream and salt, lost heron wailed at sky, sweet perfume spilled from whispering wheat, Above the din of bumblebee, sweet hum of lark, and the shrill trill of a million screaming crickets, her desperate weep, her throaty shout, shout entranced, her tearing face watched the wretched vein of a frantic mum, pain mirrored in her camp dance drama, her desperate eyes led her eyes from down she thought was rock. Stiff frozen mute in cosy nest by that scorched track. And healed in summer dress a new straw hat she loved to wear. Before the black rain fell again, she beamed and turned from this beautiful earth flew for home 
strong resolve. Thank you. Wow. Wow, that's so powerful, Martin. Thank you. My goodness. I knew you'd come up with something and see so many things in that painting that you always do. You always, you might, you know, you take us on a journey that's, you know, it was hidden from us until you yeah. took us down that path. Absolutely amazing. Lovely. Thank you very much indeed. My, my pleasure. Wow. Glad you liked it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. It's just fantastic. So thank you. Wow. Ah, so have you been writing much poetry at the moment? Oh, Chris says very powerful indeed. Absolutely. So thank you, Chris. Thank you. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've been I've been writing a lot of poetry actually. I've been and uh, a lot of it's uh, there's a, 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 a quite a, quite competitive and I see competitions, so I, I'll write to send off to competitions and uh, and I, I I started a a course in fact just last night uh, mm -hmm. or it's like a, a a sort of work for a course on poetry workshop so to learn to be a poet effectively so. I quite like the idea of uh, finding different forms of poetry and, and mm. I, I quite like the, the workshops where you get prompts and you can come up with a sort of poetry that's probably different from what I usually do. So it's yes. quite nice to, I think, expand your, your mm. the, the way you write and, and what sort of poetry you write. Uh, yes. Keep, yeah. keep a wee bit of my own personality and my own style mm. uh, within it but it's uh, I think it's quite nice to learn the forms and work to uh, mm. those different forms that I don't usually do yeah and the thing is even you know if you try them it, it may not be for you but you'll still have learned something along the way yeah, which will yes absolutely add, add to what you normally do in in your own style as you say you know because you will I think you know you definitely do have your own style and I think that will carry on even if you're trying to do it in a different form I I, I can imagine that that would still come through anyway so yeah I think so yeah, yeah. wow so what what sort of um forms are you going to be learning about on that do you know well uh, I'm not sure but that was the first one was last night and uh, mm. uh, we looked at uh, sort of cutting the uh, you know like you know like sparse sparse poetry mm -hmm. which is quite different from the poetry I do uh, but, yes. uh, but I thought but as you say it's quite nice to try different things mm. and uh, I'm quite up for you know trying uh, poetry that's that's effectively it, the sort of opposite of what I do uh, but uh, I had a wee go at it and I, I, I quite like I, I, I had a poem that I had wrote and mm -hmm. uh, when I when I, I sort of took on board what I'd, what I'd been listening to last night and ended up basically split it into three rather than one poem. And it's still, I, the, the wee small succincts actually worked quite well. So I was, I sort of, I thought this is, it might be something that I could look at. Mm, is uh, yeah. just, you know, going right into just one wee point of mm. the, and sort of working on that. But, but in, a, in a sort of real sparse, stark uh, sort mm. of, and is that like a Japanese type style or well, something? Well, haiku something is like... one, yeah, haiku is mm -hmm. one. But this this wasn't, it didn't have rules as to like how many lines or how many syllables or anything mm -hmm. like that. The haiku does, it was just, uh, just basically editing words that, that didn't need to be in the poem effectively. And, it's, and it just right. takes it right down to a, to a bare stark poem, mm. which uh, the, 
they still retain the beauty that I, well that I thought they had with the, the you know the, the additional words that mm. I had used. Mm. So but it's quite interesting. And, uh, so it's, so it's sort of like pairing it back to the bare minimum that still conveys that same essence. Yes, of what I you were trying to say in a more rounded way or something. Yeah, I, yeah. And it's, mm. and it's less and less can be more, I suppose. And uh, yeah. I think, that, and it and it allows the reader to think to to use their imagination rather than mm. the, the the poet sort of imposing yes. what he yeah. sees or feels or whatever. But it's something different, and I thought I could, I, I can I could quite enjoy that. Yeah. Uh, and the other one, the the the, the, ex, the other exercise we've got is is a it's found poetry and you just use words so you could mm. you could uh, limit yourself to what what e around you and just mm -hmm. build the poem from that so I, I don't know how that'll work out but mm. it's always worth worth trying these things but that's the whole mm. idea of doing yeah. the workshop that it takes me to poetry that i've not done and, uh, mm. and we'll mm. see what what comes out of it but... and and the one that you did last night the pared down one do you have that to hand are you do you are you prepared uh, to read a bit to uh, us i don't oh, oh. so i just sprang if, sprang that i know that's right. <laughs> i'll see if i can uh, i think that's it's a bit British. like painting as well the the you know a lot of paintings that i like are not not you know that sort of photo realistic or hyper realistic even yeah. which some people like and and yes that's very very skilled and very very talented and to to do the sort of super realistic work but um i, I really do like painting things was a little bit left to the imagination so yeah you know it's not all just there in absolute right, detail right. so you're not using your imagination and, and your brain is sort of almost controlled as to what it's thinking as opposed to looking at well even like this painting you know it's it's not done in great detail so it allows no, you to think no. oh is that a is that a fir tree or is it a an, an elm covered with ivy or you know it's it's not prescribed you know prescribed in in great detail you can interpret it in different ways and yeah you know, that's that's you know really the sort of style of painting i rather like and which is what i try to to do rather than making everything completely just there you know it gives yeah. room for the the viewer's imagination to take them on a walk through it basically so yeah 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 so you have to did excuse I... me i'm listening and i'm trying okay to yeah <laughs> Yeah, you know, you've also got um, an event coming up, I believe, August, was it? Oh, yes. Rosie says, looking forward to listening back, have to go to Folk Club. Oh, thanks for dropping in, Rosie. I know Wednesday's a really busy night for you, so thanks for that. But, yeah, definitely do it on replay to hear Martin's wonderful poem. You know, he writes wonderful right. poems. Hi, Rosie. Enjoy your Folk Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have a lovely time, Rosie. Take care. Yeah, so you've got something coming up in, yeah, in August. Oh, it's, a, okay. it's a poetry festival in Stonehaven, which is a, in the northeast of Scotland. It's right on the mm -hmm. coast. It's an old fishing village. Mm. And, uh, and it's, a, it's I think this is this, the third year that the festival's been on. Yeah. And, uh, so I'm, I'm, I've got a slot th uh, to read through. Yeah. <coughs> uh, I've got a, th a slot to read through uh, the, the publisher that published my uh, collection, Unshackled. So, uh. it, so I'm quite, and there's also workshops up there. And mm. uh, so so it, it's nice to go up and read, but I'll, I'll quite enjoy doing the workshops as well. Mm. And how long is it on for, Martin? Uh, I, think it's, I think it's two days, or I think it's either two or three days. I'm going up yeah. on the Friday and... Uh, reading in the Saturday and then I'll come home I'm coming home on the Sunday. So mm -hmm. give me a chance if there's any, any workshops or uh, yeah. it's usually the, at night there might be open mic sessions that you could go and sign up and get a, maybe read something different. 
you know. Yes, yeah. But I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, sounds like great fun. But, yeah. So put put the um if you've got any links so that people can find out more about it, put them in yeah. the comments afterwards. Right. I will do it. I will be do lovely. It. By the way, Chris is saying that he's looking forward to hearing one of your pet down poems, right. Martin. But I know I've put you right on the spot. No, I've found so. I've managed to find something. Oh, so. excellent. Excellent. Yeah, I'll, give, I'll, I'll read two if that's. Mm, yes, please, because it, right. it's a, it's obviously going to be very different from your normal style. So I'm yeah. intrigued to hear it. Right. Yeah. I've found two that I can Great. <laughs> see what you think. The first one's called Ben the Lamp, and it's a it's a it's a it's a Monroe Mountain, so it's over three thousand feet, and it's actually the first Monroe Mountain that, that I took my son Alan up. He was ah. a bit, must have been about when he was twenty, he was about ten or twelve. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and uh, this is the pared down version, <laughs> so it's called Ben the Lamp. Pastel hawk grouse, brown dressed hair low upon crystal slate. Beyond our light black green pelts, the grey quarries, snow green, a eh, snow street heights, and that's it. Wow, so, you yeah, I mean you've got some beautiful words in there that just go so well together and create that, yeah. you know that rugged look with the colours of the mountains and yeah wow yeah right, so that's but that's that, that basically started about three or four uh, verses and uh, and i've just yeah. pared it down and made a couple of wee changes so I, and i think it does work actually. it does it does uh, yes yeah. very much so right. but, and this is one i wrote after after doing the workshop and i thought that I quite like this. So it's uh, called Camus Fierna. <clears throat> and it's a, uh, you might be interested, Camus Fierna, uh, uh, Gavin Maxwell, who wrote Ring of Bright Water. Oh, which, yes. Uh, uh, I don't know if you've read the books, but mm. uh, most people have seen the film with yes. uh, Virgin, Virginia McKenna. But he moved from London, he bought a he bought an otter in a, a pet shop and wow. and when he stayed in London and it obviously wasn't suitable to mm. keep a, mm. an otter in in this uh, London. So no. he ended up he gave up his work and headed north and stayed in the northwest of Scotland to become a writer. Yes. And uh, yeah. he stayed in Camus Fierna, which is on the way it's a beautiful area on the west coast. Uh, just got the south of sky on the, the mainland mm -hmm. and uh, this is called Camus Fierna Under salt breeze shrinking tides last lick of coral shore low sun soul kissed sea's bright ring his fond gaze on his young face in fire smoke tears she ached that's it. <laughs> so, wow. It's so different from what you normally do, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Oh, well, I wonder if I wonder if we might even have one of those written about a painting sometime, maybe in your normal style and the pared down version. Yeah, that'd be lots of, uh, that, lots of, that would be really good. Yeah. yeah. To to hear, you know, how you interpret it in your your more normal style, but then also how it how it comes across in the pared down version. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can, can we um, can we get that organised? Yeah, that'd be great. That'd Brilliant. Be nice. Lovely. Yeah. Oh, Chris says <laughs> he's going to buy an otter and see if he can become a writer or a composer. <laughs> uh, I, I, think, the... I think you better move before that, Chris. <laughs> Move uh, don't somewhere bring beautiful an like home. Don't, don't bring our <laughs> water home, Chris. No, gorgeous <laughs> though they are. I, I do think they're lovely creatures. And yeah. we've, we've seen them, not in the wild, unfortunately. Although I've seen sea otters in the wild, which are yeah. also lovely, but look quite different, really, from our river otters over here. But yeah, yeah I'm 
They, they are lovely animals, but they yes. don't belong in a They're town. not pets. They're not no, pets. <laughs> they, they, they need to be out where they belong in the countryside, yeah. don't they? But Absolutely. And it'd be lovely if you if you could be, you know, befriend one. So, you know, if it was, it would it trust stayed you. Wild. It stayed yeah, wild. It stayed wild, but trusted you to be <laughs> near yeah. you. So that yes. Not yeah. necessarily to pick it up or anything, but to be, to be able to watch I, it. From, and to connect with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trust each other that you're not going to hurt it. And it is, you know, it, it's um, calm and relaxed in your company and doing its own thing, you know. Yeah. That'd be amazing to see I, wild absolutely. animals like that, if they could trust us not to hurt them. I, but... I don't know if they generally do. <laughs> no, and quite rightly so, because... I have got... Yeah. They need Many to years of bad experiences. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Oh yeah. So, so what, what sort of painting are you going to? Do you think you could work on for that landscape, seascape? Well, mm. well, a landscape or seascape is always preferred. Uh, yeah. Options. Mountains. Yeah, I mountains. mountains. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we can come up with for that one. Yeah, that's, I, yeah I, I like the sound of that. Have a look and send on and I'll, I'll <clears throat> try my best yeah. to so uh, come up keep with what, a, a, Keep a watching story. everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and look out for Martin's next visit to hear some very contrasting styles of poetry yeah. about one painting. So, yeah. So now your book, Martin, any any news for us? I, it's, well, it's still st it's still available on the Seahorses the website. And did the, you did you put us a link before? I'm not sure I saw a link. Uh, probably not, I'm mm. uh, but I will. I, I'll, I'll try and get it on the comments. Yeah, yeah. Uh, put it put a link in the comments for that and aye. for the and for the um, event up in Scotland. Yes, so even as well. Yeah. Um, that would be lovely. I, and I, I guess you never know. Some of your your uh, viewers might happen to be in the area. It's, it's yeah. close to Aberdeen. It's a it's a place yeah. that people go in the summer to visit. Right. Uh, so the, if anyone was here, no. would, I'm sure they would enjoy uh, a lot of the poets that will be there. To my shame, I've never been up that side of Scotland. I really, yeah, it's lovely. I really would love to go up there because um, yeah. some of my relatives going back a while on my father's side were from Aberdeen for a start oh, nice. so I really ought to go up there and I've been more to the west yeah um, not to the very north but more to the west and the sort of central areas so yeah um, yeah it'd be lovely to get up there and see that as well don't think I'm going to make it in August otherwise that would be no. quite amazing to come along and hear yeah, that exactly. be live hopefully but um I'm sure it'll be fantastic and you'll wow them with your wonderful poetry. Well, try our best always. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Ah, and your your son got you into poetry as well, didn't he? Originally. Well, he's, yeah, he started is, way be, before me. Yeah. Alan, is, does he do does he go to the to um events like this as well? I he's a, he's a, in fact I've been at uh, events that he's read at, and I've thought, why do I bother? Because he is a he is a performance poet, whereas I tend to read the mm. poems. But yeah. he per he's an actor, and he and he performs them, and he's he's actually quite. He always he, he always sort of steals the show, not from me, but from everyone. Really, he goes, oh, that wow. one, he's, he's tremendous. But, Proud uh, dad. It's good. I oh, mm. I and it's good. It's good to watch. But the last time we, we did one together, I ended up saying to him, I don't know why I bother. And so I go, oh, no, no, it's different. You you just, you're a reader. And, but yeah. uh, he's good he, to watch. He is good to watch. Yours is just different. And if we were all Yeah, that's same, right. I know. I, I know. We, we don't want to all be the same. It'd be boring. Absolutely. So. Yeah. yeah. So he's not going to go up to Stonehaven with you? He's not. No, he's not going to Stonehaven. But mm -hmm. he... Uh, he, uh, he's busy. He's always he do, he does workshops. That's what he does. Oh. Uh, he does like acting workshops and yeah. creative writing workshops as mm -hmm. as he's 
a job, basically. Yeah. So brilliant. So he's always he's always doing something. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Well, Martin, I can't believe it. We are at the end of our time already. Yeah. Uh, it seems like we've only just started, but thank you so much, and thank you everybody who's been watching or watching on replay. Uh, it's been wonderful having Martin back on the show, reading fantastic poetry and really looking forward to the next show you come on yep. with your two poems. So yeah, thank you. thanks very much indeed, Martin, and I look forward to seeing everybody next Wednesday. Take care. Have a good week in the meantime. Have a good thank weekend. Thank you very much for Take having care, me again. Everybody. Very welcome, Martin. Thank you for being on. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye now. Bye.